Hi, in this video, we will see how to create a WebSocket request in API Tester mobile app. So what do you mean by WebSocket? First, we'll see what do you mean by WebSocket? A WebSocket is a persistent connection between a client and server. WebSockets provide a bidirectional full duplex communications channel that operates over HTTP through a single TCP IP socket connection. At its core, the WebSocket protocol facilitates message passing between a client and server. So in simple terms, you have an API, you want to get some information. So when you hit that uh, no, API, you will get the information. So if you want to get updated information, then again, you need to execute that API. But in the WebSocket, the moment when you uh, create a connection between your client and server, then until you disconnect, you will get that information frequently. Okay, so no need to hit the API again and again. Okay, that we will see with one of the examples. So let me go to the mobile app. So this is my mobile app. If you want to create a WebSocket request, so I need to click on this plus symbol and click on this WebSocket. You see that this is WSS, not HTTPS, WebSocket secure. Okay, first rename this. So I'll say WebSocket request. And then let me copy paste this URL. So ws.bitstamp.net. So first, we, what do you need to do? If you have any authentication, you can provide that information parameters headers. Just click on this connect. You see that here you do not have an execute button. You have connect option. Okay, you see that connection opened. Now, here I want to get some information like uh, Bitcoin to US dollar conversion. For that, you need to subscribe first. Then you can execute this JSON and then you will get that information frequently. So let me put this here. You see that I have mentioned everything in the text and then click send. First it will see subscription succeeded. Now, without doing anything, you will get that information. So wait for a few seconds. You see that you got some information. You see again, when there is a change, you will get that updated information. Okay, until you disconnect this connection, you say I'm getting the information. Right, if you wait for a few more seconds, then it will provide updated information. You see? So this is how, with the help of WebSocket, you'll get the information until you disconnect the connection. Okay, so this is how you can request or use WebSocket request in API tester mobile app. So you can disconnect and you can go back. You see that? What is that we have, we got? reason undefined something like that so done so this is websocket request this is how you can use websocket in api tester mobile app okay that's all in this video thank you